Hi, I'm Lisa Niven Kelly, and today I'm here to show you how to use our fancy border stamps. So I'm going to show you a whole bunch of tips and tricks on how to get these guys to impress successfully. But on the product details page for all our design stamps, there's a link to a PDF that has a lot more tips and tricks, and I encourage you to check that out. We've designed these border stamps here at Beachcation.com, and they're made in the United States, and they're precision engraved, so they impress really well into the metal with a little bit of practice. Don't forget that, practice, practice with these guys. And it helps to have a heavy hammer. I use a two pound hammer, the brass head works the best. If you have a one pound hammer, give it a try, but you're gonna have to hit it harder and more often. So let me show you how these work. I'm about to stamp with these border stamps, but I wanna remind you to be working on a very stable table. Use a bench block. I've got the four inch by four inch bench block here and I've got a two pound brass head mallet. I think that works really well for these larger stamps. And then before I move into my circles, I'm gonna practice a whole bunch on these couple pieces of scrap copper sheet metal. I've got three tips for you to help impress these border stamps. The first one is just to hold the border stamp by pushing it down firmly. You see, I'm really pushing it into the metal. And then with my hammer, I'm gonna come and tap around the outside edges of the beveled edge and the striking end of this stamp. So I'm gonna go around a couple of times and I'm not just gonna do, you know, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna do a whole bunch around the outside while pushing the stamp into the metal. So let's give that a try. And I like to do one center stamp. That came out pretty good. The second tip I have for you to try is the tilt and tap method. With this, you're gonna be tilting the stamp slightly as you strike it, as you go around. Just be aware not to over tilt it like this, that's a bit excessive and you'll throw off the pattern. You might get a slightly shadowed look, which is what happened to me over here when I was practicing. So just tilt it slightly and tap away as you tilt. Let's give this a try. That turned out okay. What you can't really see on the camera though is the impression is a little lighter up here than it is down here. So I was maybe just striking a little harder when I had it tilted down below, but I'm pretty happy with this. My third tip to you is to stand up while you stamp this border stamp. You can stand up with any of the first two tricks, like when you're just hitting it around the outside or doing the tilt and tap, or sometimes for me, it works to stand up, press this down hard, and just give it one strong strike. So I'm standing up right now, and I'm gonna give it one blow. Not bad. I want to talk a little bit about centering these border stamps on a circle. I've got here a three quarter inch circle and this is a size blank that we made this stamp to fit on. So centering it is sort of just a visual thing. We've got the camera down at this angle so you can look at this view and see where the pattern is touching down on the metal and then sort of watch to see how much metal is sticking out from the outside of the pattern. I'll turn the bench block here so you can see. Right now it's not centered because you can see there's more metal sticking out over here than there is over here. Just sort of spin the bench block to look at it all the angles. So this is pretty far off. Let's try to get it centered. And that looks pretty good to me. Now that we have the stamp centered, let's strike it and see how we did. I'm standing up, one hard strike. We've got a couple samples here from the pieces that we were demoing with up here. That's that copper circle that I showed you how to center the circle border stamp on. And it actually didn't come out perfectly centered. It was a little shifted to the top so what I did was I shifted the whole pendant around and put the hole up there so that you actually can't really tell because it was even on these sides, it sort of gave it a top and bottom. That's a little trick there if you don't get it perfectly centered. And over here is a 5 8 inch blank and the 
border stamp with the open circles on it is a little bit large for this blank, but I like what it does. It kind of flows off the edge. So just wanted to point out that this and this are the same border stamp.